Okay then, so we're going to do dialogue boxes today, and this is going to be split over multiple tutorials because it takes a lot of work to do these. Um, <coughs> now then, I'm quite unsure about this system, I just designed it today, and if you think of any better way to do it, please let me know, because, yeah. So what you want to do first is, the object you want to interact it with, we're going to be interacting with the sign, going to hover over it in the tile selection menu, press control B to select it, to just go to select mode, selected the tile and press delete, and then we deleted that. Uh, now we're just going to add a sprite, uh, and we're going to just down here, and set the sprite to the sprite sheet, the, v, the H frames are 56 and the H frames of 52 and the tile we want is number 210. Oops. Uh, so let's just select that, go to movement mode, edit, use snap, snap it there, name this sign, uh, add a um, static body and in that we want a collision shape 2D of shape of type of <laughs> shape type rectangle fence will be 8 by 8 and I think that's it for this now okay so I'm going to show you is by no means a complete system. It will be continued over multiple episodes. So go to us player script and we're going to first define a um button for that will listen for interaction. So if we go to scene project settings, go to the input map and add a input named UI interact add that I'm going to bind it to space but you can bind it to whatever you want and then while we're listening for inputs so while the player isn't moving if input dot is action press UI interact and this is, so the player has attempted to interact with an object. Now we want to find the direction the player is, is facing and in, interact with the object in the tile of that direction. So, we're going to create a function called interact. And this will take a result. So one of the result up, result down, result left, result right. Uh, special thanks to this. I asked a question on the GoDot Q&A on how to find the um, node of a uh, intersect point result. So to do that we go for a variable called dictionary in result. Uh, so we're just leaping through the results. So if Type of dictionary dot collider equals equals type object. So if it's an object that has been collided with, and and it has the node dot collider dot has node interact. So, if we're colliding with something, and that thing has the node interact in it, um, then we're interacting, basically. Um, this is where the code that handles the interact goes. Uh, so, first of all, let's get the direction the player is facing. So, if sprite dot get frame 
equals equals zero that means he is facing up so we would just want to uh, give interact result up and we just do that for the others okay then um so when we this line of code here or when this is true the um dictionary dot collider is going to equal static body 2d so all we have to do is add to the static body 2b d uh interact so we're just going to for now have it be a node 2d and name it interact now our static body 2d has the node interact with it so that is true so when the player presses space on um interact on this static body 2d then we have interacted now we want to create a new scene um okay two things first up uh there's a sprite that i've linked uh called dialogue.png and this is our dialogue box then there is a font which i have also linked um and this is just the font we're going to be using so first up we're going to be adding a nine pa a patch nine frame with the dialogue sprite and this basically just lets us first off remove maps and filter uh this the a patch nine frame basically lets us um it lets us set the bounds of a repeating object so if we made the square there then the top would repeat the sides would stretch bottom would stretch and the bounds for this one are going to be um give me a sec find them uh 17 5 17 5 17 5 17 5 we right let's stretch it and see yep there we go so as you can see it doesn't stretch the image it cleanly upscales the object um then inside it we want to add first off name this dialogue box and inside it we want a rich text label and this allows us for formatting and scrolling which will be very useful now godot doesn't accept straight up fonts it only accepts um bitmap fonts i think so if we go to import and font get our source font which is vcr underscore osd underscore mo mono underscore one dot zero zero one dot yeah uh set the font size to 32 and the destination will just be font dot fnt uh this is the font i'm using that i've linked and we're just going to import that uh and now we have a font that we can actually use because go up can't use um straight up fonts so i'm just going to put that in there we'll have to resize it for the actual world um so for the rich text label we are going to have um first to set the font so the normal font will just be font do this for them oh, okay um scale okay so because our camera is zoomed in we have to zoom the font in otherwise it'll be stretched because we're zoomed into the font so we set the scale of the font of the rich text label to be the same as the scale for our camera which is 0 0.2 0 0.2 that's that out again um and i think that's about it for our dialogue box 
we're going to add a script to it later or now. <laughs> um, so let's add a script and just call it dialog box dot gd and create it. Now we have our dialog box and give me a sec. So the dialog box, first off, let's save it, the dialog box. So the code for our dialog box, what's it going to be? So the only thing we're going to need to do in the red D is set fixed processed true. The true. And val printing. So this is if we are printing text. Uh, val timer. We could be using inbuilt timers, I believe Google has, but we're going to just be adding the delta to a timer variable. Var text to print. This is the text we need to print. And var current chart. This is the current char that we've printed. And const speed. This is the speed at which the text is printed at. Uh, then we're going to be just op opening our fixed process. Filter. Oh. Uh, and we need another function which will be print dialog. Bunk. Print dialog. And then we're just printing equals true and text to print equals text. Okay. Um, now then, our actual code. So if we are printing, then add delta to the timer. That just increments the timer is how much past time has passed each frame. Whoops. Uh, if timer is greater than speed, then timer equals zero. Get node rich text label dot set bb code, which is basically just the text um, to get node rich text label dot get text b code plus um the text to print at brings our range of characters so we're just going to give it current char and there we go for that and then increment current char by one um now we just want to check if current char is greater than text to print dot length it's greater than or equal to because computer stops having zero four um then if it's greater than or equal to zero then or the length even then current char is equal to zero text to print is equal to nothing and timer is equal to zero. We probably don't need to set the text to print, but we are. Okay then. Uh, then we just want to implement that temporarily into the interact menu. Um, this won't be permanent um, because it's not going to work great the way it is. So before we do that, let's first. Uh, have the camera be in the um player i've already done this um so we just put the camera 2d inside the player and um set the drag margin all to zero and h enabled v enabled and there you go 
then you want to link press this link button the dialog box dot t s c n inside the camera whoops make sure you're on the move tool for this otherwise you'll just grab the tile font um then you want to move the dialog box and edit and snap off move the dialog box to where you want it then drag it out and off with it and then press edit for those children and just resize the rich text box to also be like this okay and then hide it so you can't see it uh, it will only appear when we've interacted with something so going back to script first of all what we do is get the node for the dialog box and uh, set hidden to false then we want to get the node for the camera again the dial box again and then we want to print oops, sorry there's underscore there print dialog and this is the text we we're going to print here every time we interact with it. So, because it is a rich label and not just a normal label, we can use multiple lines. So, let's go hello world and do slash n for new line. Hello again world. And that should be it. All right. Oh. I forgot to put that to dictionary and diction. Okay. <laughs> so now we walk up to this sign, press space on it, and nothing happens. Okay, then. I know what was wrong. First off, I had set um, the wrong node for this. It wants to just be camera two D slash dialog box, not camera dot two D dot slash dialog box slash which text label to add it before so my bad and second thing after um current char is greater than or equal to text print dot length we want to set printing to false as well and finally we go to the scene here go to which text label uh you probably want to set the uh color of the text to black i think that should work we'll walk up the sign hello world hello again world how good was that uh, and another nice thing about using a rich text label if you do it multiple times um we can hold we can set it to hold space when you know and there's a few things we need to clean up first off we don't want it repeating like it is now we want it to hide it after it's done uh, but what i want to show you was if you go long enough you can scroll through the text that's pretty cool okay um like i said uh please say if there's anything you can do to improve this code i had something i came up with today uh so there's probably room for improvement other than that thank you and farewell